Hello, math application students. Today we're going to talk about arithmetic sequences. You will find this on mathspace.co. And if you find MA arithmetic sequences one, uh, that will take you to the assignment. Okay, so what is, the, what is uh, an arithmetic sequence? An arithmetic sequence is when the difference between each term is the same amount. So let's look at an example. Here I've got 1, 3, 5, and 7. Notice how to get to the next one I had to add 2. Add 2. Add 2. Whenever I'm adding the same amount each time, that makes it an arithmetic sequence. If I'm adding different amounts each time, it's not an arithmetic sequence. Okay. Now the amount that I'm adding is called the common difference. In this example, the common difference is two, okay? So that's the amount that we add each time. Uh, it could be increasing or decreasing. In some examples, it might be subtracting two in each side. Okay, let's look at this example here. I've got 15, 12, nine, six. What am I doing? I'm subtracting three. Subtracting 3. Subtracting 3. So the common difference is equal to negative 3. All right. Let's look at some more examples. Okay. Find the first three terms of the arithmetic sequence. All right. So here's a function that they give you to find the arithmetic sequence. So what do we have to do? Well, just like what we did in yesterday, I'm going to plug in 1 for n. So t sub 1 equals 3 times 1 plus 1. That's going to be 4 is the first one. The next one, t sub 2, I'm going to plug in 2 in for n, 3 times 2 plus 1. That's going to be 6 plus 1, which is 7. Next one, I'm going to plug in 3 in for n. 3 times 3 plus 1, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Okay, last one. T sub 4, so 3 times 4 plus 1, that's going to be 12 plus 1, which is 13. So my arithmetic sequence here is these numbers here, 4, 7, 10, and 13. And you know it's arithmetic because each time I'm adding 3, plus 3, plus 3. So every time I'm adding the same amount, and, and here the common difference is 3. Okay? My first term, a sub 1, is 4. The fourth term, a sub 4, is equal to 13. Sometimes they'll call it a sub 1. Some, in this example, they're using t sub 1. So anyways, the first one, the fourth one. Okay, let's do another example. Ooh, looks like a scary thing, but it's the same thing. We're going to plug in the numbers in for n. So if I plug in 1 in for n, t sub 1, we get 6 plus 1 minus 2 times 7. All right. So that's 6 plus 1 minus 2. That's negative 1, right? So negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. All right. Plug in 2 in for, for n. We get 6 plus 2 minus 2 times 7. Okay, well, 2 minus 2 is 0, so we're going to end up with just 6, right? Because 0 times 7 is 0. 6 plus 0 is 6. Okay, let's do another one. T sub 3. 6 plus 3 minus 2 times 7. Okay, well, 3 minus 2 is 1, right? 1 times 7 is 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. One more. T sub 4 is 6 plus 4 minus 2 times 7. 
Okay, 4 minus 2 is 2, so we have 6 plus 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. So my sequence here is negative 1, 6, 13, 20. And you know it's arithmetic because every single time I'm adding what? 7. This is plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Okay? One more example and then we'll be done. So, you might see some problems like this. Find the missing terms. Okay, well, how do we do this? Well, we could first off see, okay, well, what's the difference between here and here? Uh, 19 minus 16 is da 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 da. 3, right? If I add 3 to 16, I'm going to get 19, right? Okay, so all of these have to have a common difference of 3 also. Okay, let's do the easy one first. If I add 3 to 19, I'm going to get 22, right? Okay, if I subtract 3 from 16, I'm going to get 13. Let's see if this works. 10 plus 3 da, 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 gives me 13. And that's what you need to do your homework on MathSpace.